Hey guys, just throwing this disclaimer in the video. Figured I'd have to because everyone's got different opinions and uh, mine aren't better than anybody's, but I think they're good opinions. And um, if you guys disagree, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, maybe I'll learn something. Maybe you'll learn something. But like I said, take these with a grain of salt. This is just my experience. It's not 100% set in stone or anything like that. So that being said, hope you enjoy the video. What's going on, everybody? Been a minute since my last video, but here I am. I just realized it's been seven years since I've had this guy. So why not make a video about having a ball python for seven years? When I wrote the stuff down, it turned out there were seven things. So here we go. First thing is what people don't realize they're getting a ball python is they're pretty boring to be honest they're fun when they're eating but other than that they sleep and they just sit in their hide so you got to keep that in mind unless you really like snakes they're boring uh i think a lot of people get sick of them and uh, they give them away i see a lot on facebook you know in the uh a lot of ads like giving them up but you know if you like snakes they're great pets so yeah Second thing I learned is expect the unexpected. You know, I did my due diligence when I picked him out at a reptile show. Did a lot of research and looked healthy, nice weight, everything like that. But he had mites, which sucked. And I figured out how to get rid of them. But you know, you don't expect that. Especially, you know, when you, when you examine them. They're hard to see. So yeah, it kind of sucks when they get sick, but you know, it's something you gotta prepare for. The third thing I learned, this is going to be probably the most controversial one on here, which people may disagree with, but um, I mean, facts support it. It's racks versus, you know, herbariums, especially the bioactive ones. You know, I kept him in a bioactive herbarium, a nice size one too, well decorated for a long time, but I don't think he was doing his best in it because with the glass terrarium, or herbarium, whatever you want to call it, they get, uh, they get nervous, they get spooked, they don't want to eat. So I noticed when he was in the vivarium, he went a year once without eating. Uh, he's healthy weight, he's a male, so he don't get very big. And he's a savannah, by the way, you can't tell by the pattern. Uh, very beautiful, that's why I picked him out. So, um, but yeah, he didn't eat for a year. But as soon as I moved him to a rack, which, you know, I'd say the first three or four years I kept him in a vivarium, and the last couple years I've kept him in a rack, and, He's happy in Iraq. He's never passed a meal. He hasn't passed a meal up yet. So, you know, long story short, I think if you want to have a nice display animal, I, I'd wait at least a couple years. Like, I think if I put him in a vivarium now, because he's seven, he'd be more comfortable eating, but I think the rack's better. And it's easier to take care of, easier to clean. He just doesn't look as good. I don't think we're going to hate that. true. Fourth thing is feeding live versus frozen. When I first got him, he wouldn't eat frozen. It sucked because I don't like watching mice get eaten by snakes live. It's not fun and it's a pain. You know, I have a freezer, I just keep stuff in my freezer. Possum, you know, like these are rat, whatever I feel like it, whenever he's hungry. But and sometimes they don't, you know, especially early on, they don't like live. And, you know, I have a ball python and she won't even eat anything frozen at all. It has to be live, so that sucks. You gotta keep that in mind, you know, like everyone says, oh, you can train them to get, you know, well, not some you can't, some you have to feed live, which it's a reality. Now, the fifth thing, which is one of my favorite things, is attitude. Um, he's never once tried to bite me. He's a pretty chill snake, super cool, um, handles well, he just hangs out, you know, he won't bother anybody. So, I have had babies that have been a little defensive, but. I never had a ball python that uh, attacks or bites, anything like that. They're all chill. You know, once they get like a couple months of handling, they're, they're pretty calm. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of people who have ball pythons that are vicious, but I think if you just handle them and interact with them, you know, it makes them a lot more pleasurable. Now, which leads to my number six is, you know, I mentioned I've had more. Uh, once you get one and you enjoy them, you kind of want to get more because the different colors and stuff like that. I didn't go crazy. I only got a couple, I think, let's see here, one, two, three, four ball pythons, I believe. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I've seen people announce on them. I know people collect them, like Pokemon, 
And, uh, I, you know, I think it's a little weird to a point. If you're keeping them as pets, because what are you going to do with them? If you have so many, like, you can't, you know, I interact with mine a lot. I, I enjoy changing their water, their cages, stuff like that. You know, I, I enjoy interacting with them. That's fun. It's, it's a stress reminder, you know, after I work all day and you know, I'm going to clean their stuff out, you know, it's, it's relaxing and you, you need to bond with them and stuff like that. So I'm always handling them. People do get carried away with it. And I, I can see why. I mean, they're addicting. They're super cool. They're, they're gorgeous. So that's just one thing I learned. Overall, I think, um, if you like snakes, they're great pets. That's the biggest thing I learned over seven years. Uh, if you like snakes, they're great pets. They do get boring at times. Um, for the average person, but like, if you, like I said, if you enjoy cleaning their stuff out, handling them, and you know, changing your water, they're very rewarding. But I can see people getting bored with them. The average person, not sure if they're the great pets because uh, you know it's cool when you see a medium mouse the first time or the first couple times. But most people envision having this nice bioactive vivarium where they're climbing and doing all that good stuff, which they do. Um, they do enjoy that stuff, but for the most part. They're just like hiding and they, you know, the only time they'll ever come out is at night. And, uh, you know, like I said, I set him up in amazing aquarium. I built it and I think it was like 50 gallon, 60 gallon, um, fully, fully furnished, fully planted and all that stuff. Um, you know, he loved it, but he also didn't because he didn't want to eat. Like I said, he went on a year hunger strike. He hasn't done that since. He's a pretty good eater. And, you gotta help him wait. You know, he's not fat. I don't know if he's an animal, but um, he's in good shape. But yeah, like I said, if, if you're the average person, I, mean, I don't think in the long run he's lived for a long time. I mean, he's seven. He's not even, not even anywhere near getting his age. So yeah, like I said, if, you know, if you're an average person, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you like snakes and you find you know they are the pet for you, I don't. I can't think of a better snake. They're not hard to find. You go to any reptile show, there's a thousand breeders telling me. So, hope you enjoyed the video. This is just my take on having a ball python for seven years, and this is my first one. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. Leave a comment, leave a like, shoot me a subscribe.